In this video, I will show you the bloody mouse macro settings for the M4A1 with three different attachments. At first, load out for short range shooting. Pay attention, the following macro settings only works correctly on this loadout and settings. Now, let's go to the in-game settings of the mouse. Set the mouse sensitivity to 5, the ADS mouse sensitivity to legacy, the ADS sensitivity multiplier to 1, and the custom sensitivity per zoom to off. If the in-game sensitivity of your mouse is not 5, the macro settings that will be presented in this video will not work properly. But since the DPI of the mouse does not affect the operation of the macro settings, you can use the formula EDPI that I will explain below to solve this problem. EDPI is equal to the DPI of the mouse multiplied by the in-game sensitivity of the mouse, and you are actually playing with this EDPI. For example, if your in-game sensitivity is 2, and the DPI of your mouse is 1000, your EDPI will be 2000. Now, if you change the in-game sensitivity of the mouse to 5, you must set the DPI of the mouse to 400, so that the EDPI value does not change. In this way, your EDPI value will remain constant. Let's go to the macro settings of Bloody Mouse. Open Bloody 7 application. Choose Ultra Core 3. Click on Headshot tab. Here you need to create a folder for the game, if you have already created one, select it and click on the headshot icon to enter the weapon settings section. Now continue the steps according to the video and make the settings. Now, load out for mid-range shooting and the macro settings.
Finally, load out for long range shooting and the macro settings. For this macro setting, we have to use Oscar Macro 2. If you have specific weapon in mind to make it no recoil, please write in the comments. Thanks for your support.
Ale ty